Hi everyone, uh, I just wanted to do a quick video um, for a service uh, I've started using for doing my character sheets and just wanted to share it because I, I think it's fantastic. I haven't really seen anyone else use this, um, but it saves me so much time. I've got the rules, all the information I could ever need um, to play this character right where I need it. Um, and I'm about to start a solo uh, adventure using Forbidden Lands and Mythic uh, GM emulator. I've got the deck. Um, so I've started uh, creating this character and I just wanted to share with you um, Geniali. I'm not sponsored by any, by them. Uh, I wish I was, actually I'd love a full account with them. And, but this is, I've achieved everything in here uh, using the free account. Um, and I just wanted to give you a quick tour. Now I'm gonna show you the results first uh, of what I've created and then I'll show you uh, a quick demo of how to uh, create this. So as you can see here, here's the Forbidden Lands uh, character sheet, nothing special at the moment. But what you'll notice is different is uh, these little uh, these little icons here. And what I can do is uh, click on these and they'll bring up extra information. So what I've done is I've snipped parts of the rule book. So if I want to remind myself uh, what attributes a goblin's got, well, there it is uh, straight away on my character sheet. Uh, let's say I want to remind myself uh, of my profession. Uh, I can click on that and there it is. Another snip from the PDF rule book. Tells me exactly uh, what a hunter can do, what capabilities they've got. And you can do that for anywhere. Uh, let's say I needed to a reminder of the rules around sleepiness. Well, there it is immediately. Uh, so as I'm playing, I don't need to go through the rule book, find the exact page. Um, I just need to look at my character sheet and click on uh, the exact uh, thing that I need. You can embed pictures in here. So, um, for example, I think the best example is if I take you to page two. So the next page of my uh, character sheet, he's got a mount uh, as my goblin character called Grey Cat. Um, and what I've done is I've taken a scan of the, uh, the the CAD for Grey Cat there. So um, you can add images, uh, snippets, all sorts of things. What did I put in here? Um, a quick reminder about consumables. So as you can see, you get the point by now. You can uh, add anything you like in here. So let's go back to the editor. And it is as simple. Let me get rid of my face. Bear with me a second where I turn my face off so you can see the entire, there we go, the entire editor. So we're in Geniali here, uh, and this is all achieved with the free account. Absolutely fantastic. Um, and I would love a, I'd love a full account because um, it opens up lots more tools. Um, I'm not doing that for this, but that would be nice uh, one day. Uh, so you can add text. So that's what I did here. I put a uh, tick's name. Uh, there, so let's use this as an example. Actually, I've dragged in uh, some text here, but what you can do this is the exciting bit is click on this button here and it asks you what do you want to happen when someone clicks on this. And I tend to use this one, uh, a window. And then in here, you can uh, copy and paste your snippets, uh, any extra text that you wanted to add in here, uh, and that's the window that you do that. And let's use that uh, an example. Let's edit, let's say this goblin one up here. So you click that button, um, and this is what I copied and pasted from my uh, rule book into this window here. And you can drag things and make things larger or smaller, so uh, they're for better reading. Um, and to do that, what I did was actually was these interactive elements. So you just grab one of these. I, I like this eye, eye, um, eye icon, um, but you can use all these. Uh, different icons that might mean something to you um, as a reminder. Uh, and all you do is click that over onto your document. I tend to put it to one side, edit it. Um, do I, is it a URL? Uh, is it an actual page within uh, Geniali itself? In fact, I might embed uh, a go to page two button, perhaps, or something like that. Or is it just a tool tip, which is um, I think that's when you hover over it, the little uh, prompt comes up. Let's do that, actually. Should we do that uh, and have this 
as a little prompt. Um, we'll just put some te uh, text in here. This is a test. Oops. Save. And then now let's uh, let's say we wanted this up here. I might want it a little bit smaller. Shrink that a little bit. And then if we go to preview up here, let's see what happens when we've got one of these. Hover over that. This is a test, so you don't even actually need to click on it if you use that hover button. Um, while these, I use the feature of open a new window. So I think that's a bit better for lots of information, but if it's just a quick prompt, um, you might want to just use that hover over feature. And that's, that's it really. You can do, um, there's all sorts of things you can add into the into Genie Alley, but that's that's the main things. Oh, and how did I get that uh, character sheet into Genie Alley? Well, I uh, printed it as a PDF, and um, I, in fact, I filled out some of the information, some of the text first, printed it as a um, JPEG, not a PDF, um, printed it as an image, and then dragged it into this box here, uh, trying what. You need to keep it below five megabytes, but that was quite easy for uh, this sheet. And it's as simple as that, but uh, leave me uh, any comments or questions if you want any more advice around that. But I think it's a fantastic way of uh, doing your character sheets.